just unbelievable. Uh, Mamatis clouds, you ever seen these before? We got the video of this, by the way, guys. There was some incredible uh, video of Mamatis clouds that was out of Nebraska. Uh, check this out, yeah, look at that. Uh, that, where the heck are those pop popping up? Oh, it's a two box. <laughs> look at me, <laughs> I was over here, I'm like, it should be over here somewhere, there's just a wall over there. There yeah, they are. The video's right next to me, so that's actual video of the clouds. Now, these are clouds that form on the underside of the anvil head of a thunderstorm. That's like 30, 40, 50,000 feet up in the air. So just to give you an idea, we can come in tight on this here real quick. The real meat of the storm is down closer to the surface. So this thing right here would be a shelf cloud. I'm gonna show you a, a picture and a video of that in just a second. Uh, you've got a tornado, if it does form, would come out of the bottom of this. Very, very small compared to the overall relative size of the storm. There's the anvil head and that's where the Mamatis clouds form. It's not in every single storm, but a lot of them, especially in these really tall thunderstorms, uh, those will pop up. Now, the interesting thing about these clouds, I know they look really scary when you look up, you're like, oh boy, it looks like the apocalypse is coming or something like that. But you don't, it's not an indication for sure that you're gonna get hit by a storm. Because again, it's so detached from where the main part of the storm is at the surface. So depending on which direction the storm is moving in, you know, sometimes the storm will hit and then you see Mamatis clouds after. Sometimes the storm doesn't even hit you at all, and you'll look up and you'll see Mamatis clouds, but maybe the storm is somewhere nearby down at the surface.